The roundtable was about uh, incorporating technology in formal and informal learning settings. And uh, we were looking at, for instance, the, the uh, learners' uh, uh, use of games in informal settings. And what we were talking about is the uh, absence, or the, rather the lack of, uh, of locally relevant games in rural areas and in low resource settings, such that uh, children end up playing games that are not locally or contextually relevant to their current realms of experience. And in terms of um, formal uh, use of technology in class settings, we realized that what needs to happen is not to push content or applications into the hands of the teachers, but rather to empower teachers to incorporate technology into the existing uh, methods and processes of teaching. Um, what was interesting from the session for me is uh, the, what we agreed as all participants in the round table that technology in education is not a new thing. I pre I mean, the truth is that technology has been present in education for a long time, starting from print uh, to radio, television, and so on. So the, the, the introduction of mobile technologies, tablets, and PCs is not new. So when we're studying technology in education, we shouldn't be thinking of it as a new, uh, as, 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 as a new phenomenon. It's, it's not new at all. Uh, so that, that was kind of actually quite exciting that we can go back to what was done in the, in the 50s and the 60s to learn how radio was uh, used in education in the past and how we can learn from lessons uh, in those areas. At the, at the round table, as I said, we, we discussed a lot about creating and sharing local content. So there was a person in the in, in the round table who represents the uh, uh, the, the Rachel project, which which uh, which involves the what they call ground computing instead of cloud computing, which is like local Wi-Fi using Raspberry Pis. And um, I've been doing a lot of uh, local creation, but they haven't been really figured out the distribution of it. So I'm really looking forward to working with them and learning from what they did because the software is open source and we can, we can you know, appropriate it into our solution as well. So I'm looking forward to learning from the Rachel project. So it was exciting that there was somebody from the Rachel project available to talk to after the roundtable session. Mm -hmm.